Anhydrous ammonia, a common chemical used in manufacturing, the treatment of metals, and in chemical processing. It is also an essential element of fertilizer and is used in a wide variety of industries as a refrigerant and as part of the air scrubbing process to reduce carbon emissions. And as beneficial as anhydrous ammonia is to these processes, it can also be very dangerous. Workers who become exposed to anhydrous ammonia can suffer serious injuries, health effects, or death. To prevent these types of harmful exposures, OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, has developed safety standards that regulate the use of anhydrous ammonia in the workplace. During this program, we will discuss some key requirements from these regulations, as well as safe work practices and procedures necessary to prevent harmful exposures to anhydrous ammonia. And let's get started by getting to know exactly what anhydrous ammonia is. Anhydrous ammonia is a compound that is made up of one part nitrogen and three parts hydrogen. Anhydrous ammonia is often referred to by its molecular formula, NH3. The word anhydrous means without water, which distinguishes this type of ammonia from the aqueous forms of ammonia, which are commonly used as cleaners and disinfectants. The fact that anhydrous ammonia contains no water contributes to its hazardous nature. When anhydrous ammonia contacts any type of moisture, it quickly combines with water to form ammonium hydroxide. Ammonium hydroxide is a very caustic solution which can cause irritation and burns to human tissues. At room temperature, anhydrous ammonia is a colorless gas with a pungent odor. In fact, the odor is so strong that you cannot voluntarily stay in the area of high concentration for very long because you literally won't be able to stand the smell. The boiling point of anhydrous ammonia is negative 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Because it has such a low boiling point, large volumes of anhydrous ammonia must be shipped and stored as a liquid. To be stored in its liquid state, anhydrous ammonia must be kept under very high pressure or be maintained below its boiling point of negative 28 degrees Fahrenheit. If liquid anhydrous ammonia is allowed to escape into room temperature and pressure, it will rapidly transform into a gas forcibly expanding in volume and instantly cooling to negative 28 degrees Fahrenheit. The rapid expansion and cooling of escaping anhydrous ammonia can cause severe